There was some speculation that Fabio Wardley might be Daniel Dubois' next opponent. And I don't hate the fight personally, but I do think Wardley needs a couple of intermediate steps before he fights the Daniel Dubois. And so Frank Warren, in this interview, dismissed the idea that Fabio Wardley would be fighting Daniel Dubois next. He says, I don't see that fight happening. He said it specifically in this video, this interview from four days ago. So I'm not sure where this idea, where this notion came from that Fabio Wardley was somehow a front runner to fight Daniel Dubois. I've got no idea why some people were pushing this narrative that he was a front runner. I mean, looking at the IBF top 15, to me, there are several more fighters, several other fighters, should I say, that would seem to me far more likely to land a chance fighting Daniel Dubois. One of them, I think, would be F.A. Jagba. Another one, Guido Vianello. I know these are not the glamorous names that people would like to see Daniel Dubois fight, but he's got potentially a very dangerous mandatory after this voluntary defense, if he gets past the voluntary defense. And so the way, even though Daniel Dubois' confidence is high right now, and I'm sure he'd fight anyone, his team are going to say, let's be strategic. I would have thought anyway, his team are going to say, let's be strategic. Let's fight somebody less dangerous now, get a defense out of the way before we have to fight somebody far more dangerous, before we're forced to fight somebody far more dangerous for the mandatory, which could either be Martin Bacoli or Ajit Kabayel. Now, the alternative for Daniel Dubois picking somebody who isn't so highly ranked or isn't so well-renowned in the RBF top 15 will be to fight Joseph Parker. That's an in-house fight for Queensbury. Joseph Parker is WBO interim world champion. Now, I'm not sure how that would work with Dubois being IBF world champion and Joseph Parker being WBO interim. Would it be a unification of sorts? Like would Daniel Dubois, if he beat Joseph Parker, become as well as IBF champion WBO interim? Or is the WBO interim just a glorified mandatory position, which that's the way I've always interpreted it to be. It's just a glorified mandatory. If that's the case, then maybe Parker would have to relinquish it if he challenges Daniel Dubois for the IBF heavyweight title. We shall see. But yeah, this is the interview where Frank Warren made it clear that the uh, Dubois Wardley fight is not going to happen. Are you surrounded by mindless bots in human form who adhere to the norm and blindly conform? Who swallow all the mainstream BS and actually ridicule you for questioning things? Do you wish you had more free thinking individuals in your life to network and converse with? Well, look no further. We're right here. Come and join the Brotherhood of Reason on Patreon. You'll gain access to my weekly topical content where we take deep dives on an endless variety of subjects, as well as my vast back catalog of podcasts, videos, interviews, movie decodings, and my Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You'll also get to talk and network with myself and hundreds of other people in our members chat. You can enjoy all this via the Patreon app or on desktop and download all my podcasts in high quality MP3. There's no contract, no commitment. You can cancel at any time, just like Netflix, but it's a hell of a lot cheaper. Just download the app from the Play Store or the App Store, or simply visit patreon.com on a web browser. Then head on over to my page and select the tier called the Brotherhood of Reason. All the links are in the description box below. And just a quick money-saving tip for Apple users. If you purchase your Patreon subscription on the desktop site or on Android, then you'll avoid the ridiculous 30% fee that Apple charges for purchases made on the iOS app. So if you're on iPhone or iPad, save yourself some money by buying your subscription on the actual Patreon website or on Android because it's a lot cheaper. Once you've made that initial purchase, you can then use the Patreon app on your iPhone or iPad thereafter to access and enjoy your content as normal.